Okay, let's do a few samples real quick on some of these. Here we have two secants intersecting on the inside of the circle. We want to find angle one. What do we do? We measure. Let's get a different color so we know what we're doing here. You can actually see it. Measure angle one is going to equal one half of the arcs created by this, what we're looking at. Okay? The angle and it's vertical. So the angle is 52 degrees. It's vertical is 40. Okay, so that measure angle one equals one half of 92. Measure angle one equals 46. Okay? It's a sample of interior intersection. Now look at this one. This is a sample of, oh, circles are getting out of hand again here. Getting a little ragged. Um, this is a sample of uh, an intersection on the circle. Okay? We want to find the measure of angle 3. On this one, intersection on the circle, remember, it's one half of the arc form. Well, the arc form starts here, comes around over here. It's identified as 220. So we've got measure angle 3 equals one half of 220. Measure angle 3 equals 110 degrees. Okay? That's where we're at. Okay? This one, last one, is very similar to the other one, except it's a, got a little, little uh, you know, trick in it that you've got to do. We'd like to find angle 6, but we're given this arc over here. So how do we find this arc? Well, the whole circle makes what? 360 minus 160 equals 100. Okay, so measure of angle 6 equals 1 half of 100. So measure of angle 6 equals 50 degrees. Okay? Real simple, straightforward samples there. What it is. These are not hard, but we will be combining them with other things. And as you know, all of a sudden when you combine multiple things that you've never not done before together, they can look very complicated. Uh, you all are always telling me that I pick the simple ones to do for uh, samples and then the homework I give you and the stuff is always harder. Well, that may be the case in some things. Um, here I'm trying to look out for you and show you some. We'll do a simple one and then a couple of others that take a little bit of thought process. And look up. And obviously, you know, you can always, uh, in class, Talk to me and we'll be glad to look at anything we can to make sure we get you taken care of. But in this one, what we've got here, remember this is an exterior intersection. Exterior intersection, we're going to take the difference of the two arcs created. So the measure of angle 1 is going to equal 1 half 80 minus 40, okay? Measure angle 1 equals 1 half of 40. Okay, so the measure angle 1 is going to equal 20 degrees. Okay, pretty simple, straightforward. Now let's look at this second one. We've got, you know, two tangents uh, that are uh, intersecting on the outside of the circle. Uh, and we want to find angle 3. We know this one, we don't know this one. Well, it's a whole circle, isn't it? And we only have two arcs because they're tangents. We have this arc and we have this one. So what's the other arc? Well, we know the whole circle is 360. So the other arc has to be that which is 140. Okay? So we're going to take measure angle 3 equals 1 half to 20 minus 140, okay, what is this, I think it's this, measure angle 3 equals 1 half of 80, okay, so the 
measure of angle 3 is going to equal 40 degrees. Make sure we're doing that one right. Okay, yeah. Okay, so the measure of that angle 3 is going to equal 40 degrees. So this one we have to remember that we're dealing with a whole circle. Okay, and we're not just stuck out here. We can find this other one. Okay, by subtracting that and going from there. Now this one, we're going to have to play a little bit and do a little bit of algebra again. I'm not going to get hung up on the math. You get hung up on the math, you're going to have to go back to algebra and work on it. But uh, we're just going to go from this. Again, we have tangents that are intersecting, and we've got x here. We don't know what that is, but we do know what the result is. Okay, we do know what the result is. So let's look at this. We've got x. Well, what count can we represent this piece out here? Well, if this is x, this has to be represented by 360 minus x, right? 360 degrees minus x degrees equals this piece. Okay. Well, we know this is the angle, so the angle is 50 degrees equals one half the difference of these two. So we've got 360 minus x minus x. Okay, did we do that right? Yeah. Take the first angle, the large angle, large arc, minus the small arc. So let's do this. Let's get rid of this and multiply by 2 both sides. We multiply by 2, we get 100 equals 360 minus x minus x. Let's consolidate some things. 100 equals 360 minus 2x. Okay? Let's pull this over here. That gives us a negative 260 equals negative 2x. Well, we obviously are going to divide by negative 2x. Negative 2, and not 2x, but a negative 2. And when we do, we get 130 equals x. So this is 130 over here, and this one over here is, would be 230. Okay? So all we're doing is playing that equation backwards, manipulating that equation with the rules of algebra. Again, uh, if you're having troubles with algebra, you've got to go back and pick that up. Uh, you're not ever going to let go of that stuff. That's just the rules by which we do math. Okay, secants, tangents, and angle measures.